For this week's Ask Dr. Dury, there is a very interesting and important question. Is there a test available for measuring minimal residual disease, what we call MRD? Well, the good news this week that I can report is that we do have a test that is finally going to be widely available in the United States. Over the last year, the Black Swan research team has been evaluating several different test methods. We have put a lot of effort into the evaluation of flow MRD, measuring minimal residual disease using a flow test, whereby the bone marrow cells are passed through a flow cytometer. And those of you who've uh, read my blogs have probably picked up quite a bit of information about this. The Spanish team developing this method have put a lot of time and effort into making this method sensitive, reproducible, precise, one that we could all depend on. Since March this year, when the method was presented at the workshop in Salamanca, there has been tremendous enthusiasm about the test. There was more recently in New York, on July 18 and 19, a meeting for U.S. investigators and lab personnel. This meeting was, again, uh, very uh, well attended, and there were many enthusiastic uh, comments about the new flow test. There was, as I say in my blog, uh, a near consensus that the flow MRD method is really the method that is available, and it's ready for clinical trial use. So this is a, a, a big step forward. This is not to say that we are setting aside all other tests. I think we continue to need to compare it with a, a molecular method for testing the marrow. We need to continue to look at other uh, types of tests, including blood tests, scanning tests, and other methods. But for now, we have a benchmark, and this new benchmark is this new flow technique. From the investigators who came to the New York meeting in July, we know that several centers will be up and running soon. Uh, for example, the group in uh, Little Rock uh, have the method up and running already. Several other groups uh, uh, across the country will be established within the next uh, two or three months. And so it will be possible to have this testing done. The key point from a patient standpoint is, do you need this test? And when, if it's needed, should it be done? These are things that you need to discuss uh, with your doctor. In general, the test is only necessary at the point where you're having your best response with a particular treatment to see has the myeloma been fully eradicated from your bone marrow. So there's not a need for a lot of these tests. These tests are, are done at this critical time point to see what is the maximum response. So. Be aware that this is possible. Be aware that if it's done, it can be part of a clinical trial, which is what we primarily recommend right now, to assess if one treatment is better than another within a clinical trial. But it can become useful just to guide the status of individual patients. But this is something that will come moving forward. So talk to your doctor about the possibility of testing. Call the info line at the IMF and also look at different uh, blogs and websites that we have. There have been several uh, web pages uh, established for the Black Swan Research Initiative, which includes the MRD testing. So get whatever follow-up information that you need. But the main thing to be aware of, the bottom line in this case, is that we do have a new test, and the new flow test is, is reliable, and it is one that could really serve as an important new benchmark.